we have two inequalities that form the system and we are asked to graph these uh, or solve this whenever the inequalities are given you cannot directly start inputting the way equations can be input because by default the calculator is set up for y equal to kind of equation but now there is no equal to there is an inequality so you have to uh, simplify this and so what it says here is since only one variable can be input on the right hand side of an equation you have to transpose the other variable that means normally x to the right hand side and the reason is because the calculator by default is set up for y equals fx that doesn't mean that you can transpose y to the other side but the effort will be more there will be unnecessary work so let us simplify this and get ready for input so we'll do the simplification here so our first inequality was x minus 2y less than 6 that means i need y on the left side not negative y so i am going to make this positive by multiplying by minus 1 so i change signs and the sense of inequality also so i get this is my first step so i solve this for 2y so 2y greater than x minus 6 because this was transposed to that side that means y greater than one half x minus 6 so this is actually my first inequality although they gave this one <coughs> for the second one you don't have to do anything because it's already ready for input this this we don't need to do anything so i'm simply going to write that as y minus 3 over 2 x plus 5 <coughs> this is <coughs> this is my second one now we can input 1 and 2 so we go back to the calculator now you must note as i said by default the calculator is set up for y equals so you need to change this for our first inequality which says that y is greater than so we need to get sense of inequality in that direction so how do we do that so we go and look here for the type that means what type of equation you have so f3 will give that and you have these options nothing satisfies so you hope there will be something after this and there it is f1 so we change that to f1 so y greater than now we can start inputting and what we obtained was one half so here is one <coughs> excuse me one half times and we had x minus six here x minus six so we go back x minus 6 close remember this is not done unless you hit enter that gets it stored this rectangle is very important solid vertical rectangle that means now it is ready for graphing but let's put the second one uh, actually before you do lot of work like this the good idea is to check if your syntax is correct by immediately seeing that you didn't make any error so you say f6 to draw yeah it's working so here is your inequality and that is so let's go back and do the second one 
the second one if you <coughs> <coughs> minus 3 over 2 times x plus 5 so we have minus 3 over 2 times here is x and that was plus 5 again don't forget to hit return now this is ready so remember this red one is our oh we did not change this we should have changed that one and because we don't want the second one to have the same sense it was less than or equal to so let me see if i can change this right now by going back to f3 and if i do i need f4 so if i do yeah then i say execute no it did not let me see if my inequality see it did not accept it changed the type for the next one so the only way to get around this is to delete and re-enter not a big work uh, so now it is ready so we should say minus 3 over 2 times x plus 5 now this one is selected correct sense this one is selected and in correct sense so this kind of check is required uh, to avoid errors so now you can plot and that's uh, our final plot so this pretty much if you want to see which one is which you can say trace and the equation shows up so the blue one is here then you do that again and so you can go to the second equation by in the trace mode you get this plus sign and if you press trace again you will get the point marked which is hollow that means this point is excluded and uh, I'll reserve the comment about this exclusion because I don't know if this is hollow or the white is there to differentiate with the usual red dot because there are so many colors here but let's go back and see the other equation that was so this is your first equation so if you move this plus sign that is tracing to the other intercept like this then you see the graph when you say execute that point appears there and when you say f1 again the point will be seen there it is this is solid that means this is now known that this is excluded and this is included so and certainly the second inequality had the uh, less than or equal to let, let's go back to the equation to see that here it is here it was excluded and that that was the reason so this way you can plot the inequalities and uh, get the solutions. This is uh, the end of this clip.